Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at how we can set up our own Google My Business in order to get more customers through local search. So if you are a local business, such an electrician, maybe you're a plumber, maybe you have a local cafe or a restaurant, then Google My Business is gonna be crucial for your business in order to get more local customers to come to your store or call your office or book your services. And if you're new to all of this and you're not very tech savvy, you don't have to worry as I'll be walking you through all of the steps. So by the end of this video, you'll have your Google My Business listing up and live and running so your customers can find you in their local search. And as always, please make sure to leave a like down below. It only takes you one second. I really do appreciate it because it will help other people find this video as well. But with that being said, let's just jump into this tutorial and hopefully you do enjoy. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure you go over to Google My Business. Once you are on this page right here, it might look a bit different depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, but what you want to do is essentially just manage now. So just press manage now and we can just go ahead and start creating our listing. So the first thing is find and manage your business. Your business might already be added to Google. Maybe you've added it yourself in the past and you haven't really realized that you did it and maybe you lost it. So here you can try to look up your current business and just check if it is on Google My Business. But if it is not already on Google My Business, you can just go ahead and add your business to Google. So just go ahead and click on that right here. Now the first thing you wanna do here is just start setting up our profile. You wanna make sure you put in your business names or the name of your business and maybe you can also add some additional keywords in the name of your business as well. So maybe if your plumbing business is called uh, Mr. Something, right? You, you don't have the word plumbing in the name of your business itself. It could be a good idea to add the, the main service that you provide as an extra added keyword in the name of your business. So let's say we are a coffee shop, but we have some very hip name and we don't really have anything that really that makes it stand out as a coffee shop. We might want to make sure we add in coffee shop as well. So if we just put Mr. Ann's coffee shop, then that would be obviously a better idea. And same goes with other businesses as well. Just so users and people searching for your service are 100% sure that you are providing the right service that they're looking for. So what I did right now is just fill out the name of my business. Remember, this is just an example. This is not a real coffee shop, but the name of my business is gonna be Who is Bob and Coffee Shop. And our business category is obviously, obviously also going to be coffee shop. Once that is filled out, what we can do is just go ahead and click on next. Now, this is gonna be an important step. So do you want to add a location that customers can visit like a store or an office? This is gonna be super important if you want to rank for local SEO. If you ever did a Google search before, you have probably gotten a lot, a lot of recommendations on local uh, businesses offering the service you're looking for, like coffee shops or local restaurants or whatever it is. So here's very crucial that if you're looking for local clients that you actually make sure to add your business location because this will increase the chances of your listing showing up when people are in your local area. Now, if you're an online business and maybe you just sell things online, then this is not gonna be important at all, so you can just go ahead and press no. But if you are a local business that are offering local services in your area, make sure you have yes. Once you've made your choice, you can just go ahead and click next. Now you just wanna make sure you add the address of your business. Make sure that this is actually a valid address that you have access to, because what you'll be required to do once all of this is done with the profile customization is that Google will send you a small letter with a specific code that you have to verify on the Google My Business platform in order to verify that your address is valid and that it actually is a valid business. So make sure that all of this is correct. Now, once you've added all the information in, what you can do is just go ahead and go next. Now, as you can see, I got a recommendation. Is this your business? I got another coffee shop that is located close to my apartment, but obviously this is not gonna be my business. So I don't wanna say that this match, but in your case, maybe it is a match. So make sure if it does match that you actually use that one. In this case, I'm just gonna go for this doesn't match and then just go ahead and click next. Now the next question is gonna be, do you provide deliveries or home and office visits? For example, if you visit or deliver to your customers, you can let them know where you're willing to go. In this case, my coffee shop, we don't offer any deliveries. And if we were to offer deliveries, maybe we're just gonna use one of our partners such as Uber Eats. So this is not something we are specifically offering. So what we'll do is just go ahead and click no. If you're offering this service, make sure you press yes. 
So maybe you're a local plumber or electrician. Maybe you have like a specific area where you only provide your services and outside of that area, you don't provide your service. So make sure that this is set up correctly so your customers can get the right information. It's also very useful to avoid having people call you and asking if you provide in a specific area when you actually don't provide that service in that area. So if you want to avoid all of that, just go ahead and press yes and pick the area that you actually provide your service. Now you want to make sure you add your contact info to your business so you can add your phone number and the website URL. So if you have a website of your business, you can add that in here. That will add that extra details to your Google My Business listing. So if you are an electrician, people can easily call you straight away and people can easily go on your website and book your services. And same goes with other businesses as well. So just make sure you add this in. If you don't have a website, just press, I don't have a website, but I'm gonna fill this in right now. Next one is stay in the known. One, do you want updates and recommendations for your business on Google? This is just really a preference up to you. I'm gonna press no. So now I'm gonna go ahead and press next. And now we have our coffee shop up and running. So we can just go ahead and press next once again. Now we wanna make sure we add our business hours so people don't show up when our business is closed. And this is super important. I'm sure you've been through this as well where if you looked up a business or maybe a store or a coffee shop, you walk your way all the way over there and apparently they're closed. So make sure that your dates are correct and make sure you do update your opening hours regularly just to make sure that your business hours are actually correct and valid. For my business, we're gonna be open all days of the week. So I'm just gonna open all days of the week. And then we are open from, let's see here, we are open from 8 a.m. to, let's see here, 8 p.m. So now our business is gonna be open on Sundays from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing for the rest of these as well. Once all of that is done, you can just go ahead and go next. Now there is a feature that lets you add messaging on Google My Business. If you want your customers to be able to actually contact you and reach out to you directly on Google My Business, you can have that option. But if you don't think you'll be managing your Google My Business profile that often, then obviously opt out for this option because you don't wanna have people contacting you with no response. So this will be up to you how you want to manage things. I am gonna actually accept messages on Google My Business. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and click next. Now we can add dining modes. So dine in, yes, people can actually dine in at our restaurant. They can also pick up their coffee, curbside pickup, no, we don't provide that. drive through no, we don't have any drive through Delivery, yes, we do have for third-party delivery. Yes, we'll have that. And no contact delivery, yes, we will have no contact delivery as well. So that is gonna be all set up. Now remember, all of these options that we are going through will be different dependent on what type of business you have. So some of these questions will be different. Obviously, dining op options, will not be available if you are an electrician. You will have other options like what type of electrician work can you actually provide? And then just fill that out as usual. Once that is done, you can just go ahead and press next. The next step will be to add a business description. So in here, you wanna make sure you add a small description of what your business actually does. You can, for example, describe what type of services you provide and how you delivered on them and other call to actions that actually make sure that people decide to contact you instead of your competitors. For this coffee shop, we just wanna say what we actually provide and what we do. So I stole this small description for another cafe shop in some other city. Uh, apologies for that, but it's just an example video here. Uh, so we provide ourselves on bringing the best coffee to the heart of Sweden. We also offer daily assortments of fresh baked goods and award-winning chocolate chip cookies. Sounds good, it's short and sweet, so it's perfect. So in here, you can also make sure that you add some additional keywords just to make sure that your listing stands out even more when it comes to the local search. What you can also do is add a call to action at the end here. So maybe make sure to contact us on our website, read more on our website, book on our website, uh, contact us here, whatever it is, just add a small call to action at the end as well. That will just be another way to push your customers to contact your business and actually buy your service. Now we wanna make sure that we add photos to our business. So what we can do is just open up our photos that we have. So I have some stock photos right here. Obviously the best thing for you to do is have real photos from your business. Stock photos are not gonna be great, especially if you're a local restaurant or cafe because you, the restaurant or cafe would just look totally different uh, on the images than what it actually does in real life. If you are an electrician and so on, you can still use stock photos, but the best thing would be that you have your own unique pictures or images on your listing. In this case, what I'll do is just click on add photos right here. Then I will just drag and drop these two photos in right here. 
and then we'll have our two images of our coffee shop uploaded as well. Once our photos are done, we can just go ahead and go next. Here you can add some photos of your dishes. This will not be relevant for everyone. In this case, I don't want to add any photos. What I can do is just go ahead and click skip on this one. Now it's going to tell you to advertise. In this case, I don't want to advertise. I just want to do it for free. So all I'll do is just go ahead and click skip here as well. Now your business profile is almost ready. So what we can do is just go ahead and click on continue here as well. Then we'll open up the Google My Business uh, platform or dashboard. So we can just go ahead and click get started here. Now this will be the dashboard for your Google My Business. This is where we'll have all the information. You'll have the insights, how many views your listing is getting, your menu, you can add your menu in here. You will have your reviews, your messages, because I accepted messages through my Google My Business. You'll have your photos as well, bookings and so on. What we'll do is just scroll down here and we can see that we have to complete our business profile. It's only 70% done. So what we'll do is actually add a logo to our business. I'm just going to click on this one right here. Now we can see that we're missing both a logo and a cover photo for our listings. We want to make sure we add both of these. In this case, for my logo, what I'll be doing is actually creating a logo on Canva.com. Canva.com is just a free service you can use to create a specific logo for any type of business. What I'll be doing is creating this logo and making sure that it is a 720 by 720. So it actually fits the dimensions on Google. In here, I'm just gonna search for coffee, logo coffee shop right here. And then we do have some examples that we can use. And I think I like this one. Now I can just go ahead and edit this logo. Coffee shop like that. I'll make this text a bit smaller. I'm just going to align this in the middle and there we go. This is going to be the logo for our business and I'll just download this right here. Remember, if you're actually a real business, make sure you spend some time on your logo and make sure that it looks correct. Now I'm just going to download this image, go back to Google My Business, choose a photo for our business, drag and drop the image that I just got. This will be added in right here. Once that is done, we can just click and set the logo. And there we go. We have our logo up and running as well. Now, the final thing we want to do here is add our cover photo as well. This will be the main photo that users will see when they open up your listings. You want to make sure this is actually an attention grabbing image that people actually want to see. So for the cover photo, we want to make sure we follow the dimensions as well. The dimensions here is going to be 2120 by 1192. You can do this within Canva as well. Maybe if you want to resize your images, you can do it within Canva. So that is exactly what I'll be doing as well. I will just drag and drop my images that I had. I'll drag these in just like that. And once I've dragged the image in, it's going to be the exact size that I need for this image. Then I can just go ahead and download the image again. And then we'll have the right size for our image. And I think this image itself actually describes the business fairly well. Obviously, you might want to add another type of image as well, depending on your type of business. But I think this will do us just fine. So we'll add this in. Go back to Google My Business. Go to the cover photo. Choose a photo. Drag and drop this in. Once that is all done, we actually have all of this ready to go. Now, you can see there are some additional options as well. You can add a video of your business. Obviously here, I recommend you to have like a professional video done. The interior, so you can add some interior images of the store or coffee shop itself. Exterior, just to make it easier for people to actually find your business. Maybe it's very hard to locate, so make sure you add this in as well. Food and drinks, you can add some extra images there and product as well. So we'll have some more images that you can actually customize, but this is going to be all that you need to customize for your Google My Business. And once you've verified your listing, that will be up and running and people can actually start finding your business. And that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. You can also join our Discord channel, which is completely free to join. And if you want more content like this one, make sure you are subscribed to the channel as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next video.